good morning students today in the chapter antarctica we are going to discuss about the physical feature of the continent physical feature means that how the continent is physically divided as we know that a country or a continent is divided into physical and a political division in political division we study about that if a continent is there in how many countries it is divided with their respective capitals as or if it is a country then in how many states it is divided with its respective capitals whereas in the physical feature we come to know or we study about that how it is physically divided what are the different landforms or what is the relief of the place or a continent or a country so here we will dis about discuss about the physical feature of the antarctica as we know that antarctica is a continent which is covered with snow to several kilometers about the thickness is about hundreds of meter and due to a very high temperature very low temperature the it does not allow do not allow the snow to be melt because of the very low temperature near the poles it do not allow the snow to be melt and because of that it is very cold and snow will not be able to melt now here when we see what are the different landforms we will find that the trans antarctic mountain is there trans antarctic mountain is there which divides the continent into two parts which are they it is the lesser antarctica and the greater antarctica the lesser antarctica towards the western side whereas the greater antarctica is towards the eastern side so the lesser antarctica is smaller and narrower towards the western side whereas the greater antarctica is larger at the eastern side the eastern part is larger and we can easily see in the map that eastern part is larger whereas the lesser antarctica or the western side is smaller and narrower now the highest point of this trans antarctic mountain is the highest point of the continent the highest mountain of the continent is mount vincent massif which is about 5139 meter high and the location is almost here mount vincent massif this is the location of mount vincent massif the highest point of the continent is kirkpatrick highest point is kirk patrick the location is here then the two active volcanoes are there in the continent 
द हाइएस्ट वॉलकैनो हाइएस्ट वॉलकैनो इज माउंट सिडले वेर इज द सेकेंड हाइएस्ट वॉलकैनो विच इज एक्टिव वॉलकैनो थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ वॉलकैनोज आर देयर द एक्टिव डॉर्मेंट एंड एक्सिंग सो इट इज द एक्टिव वॉलकैनो विच इज इन द ईस्टर्न साइड ऑन द रॉस आईलैंड दैट इज माउंट एरेबस here is the location on the in the eastern side in the, on the ross island it is mount erebus whereas that the highest volcano is mount sedle now the plateaus here we talk about the mountains now the plateaus the two major plateaus of the continent are the queen here we will find that queen mount mount plateau is there in the eastern region and one of the south pole plateau at the south near the south pole south pole plateau at the near the south pole is there now some of the lakes which are recently developed which are found recently and among about 70 lakes are there among them the mau lake wostok is the largest one wostok lake is largest among those recently developed 70 lakes so here today we discuss about the physical feature of the continent now our next topic is climate as antarctica is one of the coldest continent you all know very well so here the coldest temperature recorded is minus 88 degree centigrade by the russian research station that is name of the research station is vostok the coldest temperature recorded in antarctica is minus 88 degree now the temperature if we see the temperature of the continent we find that minus 28 degree centigrade during the summer season which is about in the month of january and minus 50 degree centigrade during the winter in the month of july as you already read about the re revolution of the earth so you know when there is a summer season in the northern hemisphere there is winter in southern hemisphere and vice versa because of the revolution of the earth then these are the the months the season if you see the season then the winter seasons are from the month of may to august whereas the summer are from the november november to february the summer are shorter whereas the winters are longer and colder then the most common is snow blizzard snow blizzards are very common in antarctica what are blizzards blizzards are the severe snow storm with high speed high wind a very speedy wind is there with a snow 
in which snowstorm is there, which is called as the blizzard. So here it is that, and if we see, check the humidity. What is humidity? Humidity is the amount of water vapor present in the atmosphere. And there is no humidity in Antarctica. Whatever the uh, water vapor present in the atmosphere, that is freezes, that become freezed due to the very low temperature. And we will find that in the summers, there is continuous daylight, whereas during the month, month of uh, during the winters from 4 to 5 months there is complete darkness. No sun rises there. So here it is about the climate of Antarctica. Till then now just you read also what I am explaining you. Have a good day. Thank you.